when we look at other cancers where we do specifically germline testing, um, the kind of rate of cancer development for um, patients who harbor a, a germline mutation um, kind of guides who should undergo this genetic testing, right? And a good example would be Lynch syndrome, right? So these um, patients have uh, a risk of like 40 to 60 percent of developing an endometrial cancer, right? So if there's a family history, you know, so that is an a important component to take into consideration, which is why I think the guidelines recommend all ovarian cancer. Because you have, it's not like 1% of these women are going to develop a cancer, right? 15 to 20% of them are, or are going to develop um, an ovarian cancer, right? Um, and even more so, there's other cancers that could impact this. And so that's very important. From a somatic standpoint, um, I think that the importance is, again, looking at new ways to try and treat these patients, right? And, you know, it's been discussed throughout this presentation that we have been pretty stagnant in the way that we treat these patients and understanding the molecular landscape of these cancers is very important in trying to move the field forward. And um, the more that we can understand the biology in real time, Right? It's important to do the work in the lab in a controlled setting, but we also need to understand what's happening in patients on a day-to-day -day basis, and that's where these testings can be extremely important.